LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, welcome to the installation guide for putting your keys onto your keycap. We're going to show you how to install the um, regular size key, and we're going to use the letter H for that. We're also going to do the large key, and we're going to use the Enter for that, and the space bar. So we're going to start with the regular size H letter, and this is the space for it you can see that at the bottom corners there's two small hooks and at the top corners there's two larger hooks so make sure to look at the different key areas because they change position sometimes the larger ones can go you know to the sides or to the bottom or just make sure to look at that because wherever the large hooks are we're going to uh, position these hinges onto you know the keyboard accordingly to the large hook so we're going to determine the position for the large piece first and you can see that at the top corners it has two small pins and in the bottom corners it has two larger pins. Now I say top and bottom because the large hook is at the top so the small pins are going to go accordingly to the large hook. The small hook of the large hooks were to be at the bottom you turn it around like that. And so yeah, it's at the top, so we're going to put the small hooks at the top, or pins at the top, then make sure not to put the entire piece upside down, like this, because it looks the same, but it won't allow the mechanism to function properly. So, you have to feel the sidebar, the vertical bars here. If it's one smooth piece from top to bottom, that faces away from the keyboard. If you feel a bump in the middle, that faces and touches the keyboard. So that's the right position for that. Put it down for now, get the next hinge which is this, and you can see it has two pins going inward at the top, and again I say top because that's where the large hooks are, and it has the pins in the middle that click onto the holes that are in the middle of the large piece, then it has uh, the pins at the bottom. Now make sure not to put this piece upside down like that by feeling the entire area. If you feel the uh, bottom half is thinner than the top half, that faces away from the keyboard. And if you feel it's just one uh, same thickness from top to bottom, that touches and faces the keyboard. So now you know the position for both pieces. What we have to do is put the top I, uh, the small piece over the large piece and actually it goes underneath the uh, small piece goes underneath the large piece like that then you want to slide it right through and click those uh, pins let's do the left pin first we're going to click that into the hole that's in the large hinge. Once that's in, hold it so it doesn't come back out. And you can see that there's another pin right there that has to go into that other hole. So what you have to do is um, hold both pieces and separate the large one from the small one like this so that uh, the pin has enough space to go into that hole. So there you go. Now both pieces are one. What you have to do now is put those uh, small pins that are at the top corners underneath the large hooks 
and hold it in place there with one hand and kind of push or slide the hinges downward in order for the hooks that are at the bottom to grab onto the pins that are there at the uh, at the bottom. Now these aren't really hooks, they're more like loops. So the hinges have to go through that hole there. Do one side first. I did this side already, so now we're going to have to put this pin into this um, loop. And we do that by, again, holding the top in place so it doesn't come back out. And we're just going to try to slide the hinges over this way in order for the pin to have enough space to go into that uh, loop there. So all pins are underneath something now. You just get your keycap, put it in the center, push down evenly on all four sides, and that's it for the regular size key. Now the enter key, or the large uh, size, uh, is the same procedure, only on a larger scale. You uh, you put the the hinges together like this, then you put uh, these pins at the top. First, then you put one pin into the loop. When you have, once you have that uh, pin into that loop, you want to do the other one. Okay, have that. We have that. Hmm. Okay. Then you want to do the last one. All right. Now, the difference here is the keycap has a metal wire that has to go on the back side. So this is the right position. We're going to flip the key this way and put the pin or the the metal wire at the fittings that are at the very very top. Put it right in the center and just push down on it till it clicks. Then we put the key. We open up the wire like this put the keycap in the right position and flip it over this way so you can see the wires and put the wire in between these two fittings that are to the very left and right put the wire right through and then just lay down the keycap on top of the hinges and push down evenly on all four sides that's it for the large now we're going to do the space bar this has two hinges one at the left one at the right so we know how to insert those. We're going to assume you already have them in. This um, position for this key is like that. It's square at the top and it has an angle at the bottom. So now we're going to flip it over this way and put the wire at the very top. The fittings that are at the very, very top then that other wire goes in the middle just like that flip it over and keep the uh, wire open put it on top of the uh, keyboard in the right position but you're going to flip it over like this and so you can see the wire put it underneath over and underneath this metal hook and that metal hook also just like that then you lay down your key cap on top of the hinges, push down evenly on all four sides, and that's it. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.